Good afternoon. Here we are once again at Comic Con in Albuquerque, which is a showcase of really the creative talent that exists in Native America that's really creating a voice, a literary voice. And I'm just talking with John Cloudstar, uh, who really uh, has the name of the company is Tribal Force. And he really he represents where literacy starts for kids. It's like the entry level drug of sort in reading, because everybody has started with the comic book, whether it was uh, Lois Lane or whether it was uh, Archie Dagwood <laughs> and Archie. Well, it has all evolved into a voice and uh, a native voice that is really creating a, an entry level into literacy. And at Native Media Network, we're all about cultural literacy, bringing out the tradition into the youth. We're all on cell phone. And I'd like to ask John a little bit about Tribal Force, if you can describe it the genre that you're looking or have created, and uh, the, the audience that you're trying to reach. Uh, well, Tribal Force is the first all-native superhero comic book in the history of the United States. Uh, we first published in 1996 and just got inducted into the Smithsonian Institute about three years ago for being the first. Uh, the genre, it's, it's the superhero genre, and as a kid, I'd always wanted to see Native American superheroes. And they just there just weren't any, so I would always daydream like, what well, you know, if, if Batman was Native or Spider-Man was Latino, how would it change, you know, the way they look, the way they act? And then these heroes started to come into my mind, and then hearing the stories and legends of my people and other tribes, I was like, man, they sound just like superheroes, you know. And it wasn't until the '90s that I really started to gather the courage to maybe put this together and uh, one of the big influences for me was uh, Tim Truman right here Scout his book Scout and it was one of the more realistic natives that I've ever seen which kind of sort of gave me the, I guess a little more confidence that it could be done uh, you know that that media the entertainment world was looking for our stories told from our perspective because it's always been told from somebody else's point of view so when it's told from a native's point of view you get a real fresh look at what it's really like and i think everyone wants that no matter what culture if you're going to read about italian people you want it coming from italians you read about the jewish people you want it coming from the jewish people you want that authentic voice you just you don't want an interpretation of who they are want to know exactly who they are. And I think that's why this medium is starting to grow for us. People are finally saying, hey, we want to hear it from their side. To show that the Italian is more than being a super Yeah. To really show the, the essence of being an Italian. Yeah. What a wonderful, a really concept that we kind of introduce us to that. Because I had never thought of Native American super yeah. the heroes, but really, all of Indian culture is yeah. all about superheroes yeah, and the, the positive role models and stereotypes that are around. Well, yeah, they were heroes before they were heroes. You know, our stories are thousands and thousands of years old sure. that predate Superman, predate Hercules, and all these other characters that people say, oh, those are the original. Like, well, no, not really. <laughs> these are the original heroes that you guys know from. Uh, but it's good to see all these young creators here adding their voice to their tribe and that was another reason uh, Ryan Huna Smith the original artist of Tribal Force and I uh, we came out hoping that we would encourage other natives to say hey look those guys did it uh, maybe we should be in some other guy can do this for our tribe because there's over 753 independent tribes federally recognized tribes in America so I, I can't write a hero for every single tribe so it's awesome to see other kids from other tribes take on their own personal heroes. And it, it just, it has a, I, I think any tribe would appreciate me writing about their tribe, but 
it means something more when uh, a member of your own tribe is doing it. You know, it comes to a special place and a special pride. And uh, Tim and I were talking earlier how important it is, you know, to show the name to a and creating those pathways to success. And if you don't have them, you know, it, it's hard to imagine yourself doing anything else other than what you grew up around. But if one person comes out of your neighborhood as a success, you can always say, hey, that guy lived right down the street from me. He's no different than me. He ate the same food as me. We shopped at the same stores. He wore the same clothes. So it's kind of sort of this, this gateway that you now have. If he did it, I can do it. So that's why it's so important to recognize you know, the, the talent that's coming out. Many years ago, we published uh, White Roots of Peace, which is about the peace movement. And the role model, the really the uh, system of governance that he brought about with the Iroquois people, it still holds to today, in fact, influenced the writing of the Constitution. Yes, it did. The Iroquois people were right there at the Constitution of all the Philadelphia, passing notes back and forth in the window. The only thing they missed is real estate law. <laughs> <laughs> they missed that one. But uh, we keep trying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's wonderful. I, I think this is how do people get your comic books? Uh, it's it's going to be Okay, it's going to be available through Native Realities. Uh, they're the ones sponsoring the Comic Con. So check Native Realities out. You'll be able to buy Tribal Force there. It'll be an ongoing series. So, yeah, check it out, please. Tribal Realities. Native Realities. Native Realities. Yeah, it'll be Tribal Force. And look for Tribal Force. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.